How are single income households surviving in this economy? I'm single with no children. This. LOL I may not take vacations, ever, I may not have the sexiest wardrobe and to some I may lead a boring life, but I'm content. Like you right now, content, I thought just saying in your mind you're thankful for one specific thing was useless till I started doing it, now I am satisfied with a really boring closet. If you're not grateful it's impossible to satisfy the wants. I'm doing a lot of rice. A lot of beans. Sometimes I do rice and beans. Other times, I do beans and rice. It's pretty fucking cool. But have you tried rice and rice? Or beanie beans? Brace yourself, buddy. It'll rock your world. I don't think he knows about second beans, Pip. We've had beans, yes, but what about second beans? Bro, lentils. Yeah, but if they're not used to lentils you need to introduce them gently over a few days. Otherwise, they will not be gentle on the way out. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Lentils, probably. I don't have kids. Even if I wanted them in the slightest, there's no way I could afford them. So I guess that's the secret. I don't want kid either, but just the same I'm low-key bitter that, financially, it's not really plausible. Like, I don't really have the option. I live comfortably single, but even one kid would be a financial atom bomb for me. Edit, please stop meowing about your bullshit movie. We're talking about real lives here. This shit is profoundly unwelcome. For me it would be a medical bill, it's really rough once you realize just one accident is all it takes to take everything away. Barely. Yes. I see a lot of posts about people maxing out 401k and actually saving. I'm trying to pay off our monthly bills with the amount in my paycheck. You should read personal finance. One third of the posters are in minor trouble. The rest are humble bragging because they're 35 and only have a million in assets. Hi guys I'm 23 and just started working as an engineer for my dad's company. I make 150k a year. My expenses are cell phone and gas, for my weekend race car, daily driver is a Tesla I charge at my parents house. I just started saving and only have 60k in my IRA and 185k in my 401k. I'm trying to put away 4k a month, is this enough? My parents are giving me a house so I know I will have to pay utilities and just want to make sure I'm prepared. Anyway, I was going to go see a concert next month and tickets are $75. Can I afford this? Exactly. I hate this so much that I'm glad there's actually a spin-off subreddit of slash personal finance that is more relatable for most normal people. I live in a hovel in the swamp. I'm in IT. Others probably have it worse. I get paid, pay bills, go grocery shopping, and am broke until the next paycheck. If I didn't work from home, saving me from buying so much gas, I'd starve to death. By buying a house 15 years ago. Yup. Only owned 7 years but I would have been absolutely screwed and homeless trying to buy now. 5 years ago here but yep, just calmly twiddling my fingers looking around me at the house I own that if I were to somehow buy today, could not come remotely close to affording. Bought mine late February of 2020. I feel like Indiana Jones in the opening scene sliding under the door and grabbing my hat before everything went to shit. Should have bought a house when the market was good when I was in kindergarten. Well, it's just me and I live in a bachelor. Not even a full-sized apartment. I have a mini fridge and I had to buy a deep freezer in order to properly buy groceries. At least I have my own bathroom and no roommates I guess. No stove or oven either, so I had to buy a single burner from Canadian Tire. The quality of living has gone down tremendously. I don't feel like I live in Canada anymore. The price I'm paying for my bachelor is a little more expensive than what I was paying for a two-bedroom apartment pre-pandemic. Seconding this. Those of us in Canada in the lower class are hurting pretty badly and noticeably worse versus pre-pandemic. Old, well-maintained cars. Home-cooked food, eating out only once a week. Clothes used for years. One subscription service at a time. Condoms. Damn you eating out once a week? You fancy. The benefits of not having children in this economy lol. $2 Taco Bell or $3 Whopper Wednesday. Bring my own water. Dude, I went to Taco Bell the other day and it was $14 WTF. Back in 1998 that same exact order would have been like $3.85. McDonald's finally finished pushing out the $1 drink, pretty much the sign that everything is getting too expensive now. McDonald's isn't worth what it costs for a meal anymore. I'd rather spend the extra money at Five Guys if I'm aching for a burger and fries that badly. Was fortunate enough in my timing to buy a house right before the pandemic, while I was still a double income couple, and we made the extremely smart choice of setting our budget at something we could afford on a single income rather than maxing out what the bank was willing to loan us. I made the same decision in 2021 and don't regret it for one second. My dad was saying you guys can afford a way bigger house. But now the $1,200 mortgage seems like a literal miracle. 
My parents told me how they were told they could be lent $X when they got a mortgage, but the broker suggested $XY in case of hardship. They listened. Early 90s recession hit right after and they kept the house. I'm not. I am moving in with my cousin this weekend. Have to sell my house. I broke my foot a few months ago and could not do my job. Went on medical leave, unpaid of course. Filed for unemployment, got denied, naturally. State government looks for any reason to not provide benefits to honest taxpayers, so I had to file an appeal which is going on 4 months now of no income. My foot had to be surgically reconstructed, so bed rest until I am cleared by my podiatrist. Still no income. I'm fucking tired of being kicked while I'm down by my own government. I'm also a veteran, which means nothing except why did I volunteer my life for this crooked, dishonest scam of a government. Rant over. Thank you. Your post makes my blood boil. This country is fucked. I lost faith since COVID. It's like I've been living in a nightmare since March of 2020. I have what used to be a good government job. Pension, healthcare, lots of vacation. My take-home pay is about $27,000 a year. I locked out in my apartment, been here 10 years and rent is now $820. I take the bus everywhere and have no hopes of getting my own car. Going out of town is a luxury. Vacations are at US cities with bunk bed hostels, which, to be honest, is pretty cool. I shop at Aldi's and Farmer's Market for food and a buy-the-pound thrift store for clothes and household. No kids, no boomer parents. But it's not awful. I have enough money to buy, used, books and pay for art. The library is free, the local university has free lectures. But I am sharply, painfully aware that I am one argument, one bad performance review, from losing everything. That salary seems unacceptably low, even for a government job. You'd make more money working at Starbucks. I know nothing about your job or your education, but I really encourage you to look around. We aren't. $100 at the store doesn't buy shit anymore. ETA, I'm really glad a lot of you have stores like Aldi or farmer's markets to shop at. It's truly awesome. But a lot of people don't have those options without traveling hours away from home. So keep that in mind, yeah? Best bet is Aldi for me. Yeah, I got green peppers, portobellos, spinach wraps, eggs, cheese, shaved beef steak, two pounds of coffee, and a bag of pink lady apples for $25. Single parent here. We quit eating meat and most dairy. I buy a big jug of concentrate Castile soap and make my own hand soap, cleaning products, etc. Fast food is less frequent, and often just small snacks instead of meals. I buy as much as I can at the dollar store slash Facebook marketplace slash liquidation store. We also do a lot of free activities around town. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments how you are surviving in this economy.